Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I thought I'd give you a quick look at an interesting tool that I own. This is a leather splitter, more famously known as the Osborne 86. It is a quality made, US made and fairly pricey piece of equipment. Leather splitters in general are quite expensive. The purpose of such a tool is if you have a piece of leather that has a different thickness here than here is that you enter the smaller of the two thicknesses into your leather splitter and then run the piece of leather through it. It's going to make the entire piece of leather the same thickness. So the smaller of the two thicknesses. This is especially handy for those that make various straps, leather lace and many other items. Now in this video all we're going to do is take a look at the tool, see some remarks from me as well as a demonstration on how to use the Osborne 86. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing that I probably should mention is that the splitter is bench mounted. This means that we install it by running two screws through here at the back. Yes, this is the back of the splitter. And then two screws here from the front. So basically you use four of these wood screws. They are not included with the splitter. Now, when you mount the splitter onto your bench, it's going to be very stable and it's not going to fall off the table when you pull various pieces of leather through it in order to thin them out. The disadvantage though, is that after you mount this onto a bench, it's going to be a bit awkward to move it. You would basically have to unscrew all of the screws, then move it. Now a workaround, which I figured out, is to basically place the splitter onto something that you can move, for example a piece of wood, and install it onto this one. Then you can use a couple of G-clamps in order to clamp down the splitter with the wood onto a desk and use it that way. So I prefer this method of installment since it is a lot more mobile. So to install my splitter, the first thing I do is I mark down the holes. Then I drill in my holes. Then screw in the four screws. After attaching your splitter onto a piece of wood, you align it to the edge of a bench or table and then simply clamp it down. And with this you have a stable way of working with your splitter and if at any time you need to move it, simply remove the clamps and you are able to relocate the splitter. Before we begin using the splitter, we have several settings that we can set. One of the most important ones is the thickness of the leather that we're going to get after using the splitter. This is set using this bottom wing screw. Take a look at this cylinder here, the rolling cylinder. And notice that when I screw in the wing screw, it gets closer to the blade here at the top. So the more I screw in the screw, the less the thickness of my leather is going to be. And vice versa. The more I unscrew it, the thicker my leather is going to be. So this one is one of the most important settings to set. Next is more of a feature than a setting. 
we have a lever or handle here with which we separate the blade and the cylinder here, this rotating cylinder, and this enables us to slide a piece of leather in between the blade as well as the cylinder. So this is an important part because it enables us to wedge a piece of leather in between the cylinder and the blade. The last setting or feature are these two screws here at the back, which are usually used together. Basically, you screw them onto one or the other direction in order to center this ruler or cylinder here. So basically, let's say we rotate both to the left or to the right. Basically, what we want to do is center the cylinder in relation to the blade. Now, for a quick demonstration of the tool, I first set the thickness of my leather using the wing screw that I have shown you earlier here at the bottom. Then I take a strap of leather, I use this lever or handle in order to push the roller or cylinder away from the blade, then I wedge my leather, then all I do is pull on my strap in order to thin it down. And you can see that I got a really nice split. One thing that I really should mention is that when you are splitting your leather, you should not split more than a third from it. So one third of the thickness is the most you can remove in order to preserve the qualities of your leather, especially strength. So guys, with the demonstration done, let me say a few final words on the Osborne 86. It is a quality made splitter and it should last you a lifetime. The price reflects it, so it is a trade-off. It costs a bit, but it should pay for itself in the long run. The splitter comes razor sharp and it is probably one of the sharpest things that I have ever experienced. The Osborne 86 has a larger brother, the Osborne 84, so if you need a wider splitter, the Osborne 84 may be a better choice. Finally, for me, the Osborne 86 is a joy to work with, I especially like to use it when thinning down areas on the belt which I plan to stitch together. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this short video, thank you for joining me and see ya next time.